Welcome to our new weekly segment, Growing Idaho, where we're going to look at how our area is growing and how that growth is affecting you. We're kicking things off with a couple big questions right now. One, are we in a housing bubble? And two, is that bubble ready to burst, which would tank the whole economy again? 77% of Americans think so. In a recent survey by the brokerage Redfin, we've all talked to lots of folks here in Idaho who believe this as well. But I also talked to an expert who said, while well, some of the red flags are there, some others are not. Susan Semba is the executive vice president of the Idaho Housing and Finance Association. Before we talked about a possible housing bubble, we needed to talk about what it looked like here before the last bubble burst in the early 2000s. Boise wasn't as popular as it, as it is now, and, and uh, affordability was very high. So high that busloads of investors would just drive through new Idaho neighborhoods and pick out homes like candy on a shelf. I mean, it wasn't unusual for, for title companies to close deals with five or six homes in them and even higher. And that was unprecedented. Home prices started to spike, but that was OK, we thought, because the booming housing market meant much of the economy was booming, too. Where we were happy. You know, it was bringing a lot of uh, businesses in, a lot of construction workers in, and and things were going really well. And Simba says many lenders wanted to keep the momentum going by offering no income, no asset loans with minimal documentation, with things like adjustable rates where the payments would go up. The idea was if the loan payment got too much for you to handle, you could always just sell your home for a profit, as long as it maintained its value, which... It didn't. People uh, began to default on their mortgages because they couldn't afford the payment. The bubble burst. Bottom line, everything stopped. Building stopped, leaving half-finished neighborhoods vacant. Builders left the state, so their hiring stopped. People were afraid to buy, so home sales stopped, and home values plummeted. So they couldn't afford the payment. The value was going down. They just they just gave up. Now, as you all know, we did rebound eventually, but lots of folks are worried about all that happening again. So let's take a look back at 2008 through today's lens. Home prices spiked for years, but then started to drop. That is happening right now. Home values soared and then also started to drop. That is also happening right now. Home building was cruising along at a rapid pace, just like now, but Here's a big difference. Home loans are not nearly as easy to get as they were in 2008. They are less affordable, especially with rising interest rates. Also, loans require a lot more documentation to prove how much you are earning. So the industry, we, the mortgage industry, we had to step in and say, listen, this is not right. You know, all of these loan programs need to go away and we need to have sustainable lending and and we, we really fixed it ourselves. And another big difference, there are plenty of jobs out there. Right now, Idaho unemployment stands at less than 3%. That's what happened back in 2008 and 9 is that um, there weren't any jobs uh, to offer. And so people that did lose their job, they couldn't find another one. That's why Semba and many experts like her say we are not heading into another housing bubble bursting. What drives it are jobs. You know, if we have jobs, if people can work, it's sustainable. Simba also made the point that while there are jobs available, the pay at those jobs has not kept up with home prices. Let's take a look at Ada County's median home prices since 2017 and how much they've increased. That's in blue right here. They've gone up by as much as 27% a year. The previous two years right here have been spurred on by the pandemic housing surge. Now look at the area median income limits to qualify for federal programs and those increases. Those are in orange. Take a closer look right here. Bottom line, those give you a good idea about what established households are making across Idaho. While this year income is spiking, still not close to what we've seen for home prices. So where does this leave first time home buyers? How can they break into this market? Many talked about just waiting it out, but right now 30 year interest rates are pushing 7%, even over 7%. That's a 20 year high and it could continue rising. Semba said 
Home buyer education is key right now. Understanding your credit, what loans you can get, and even talking to a housing counselor. Idaho Housing and Finance offers all that, and there's going to be a link to all that in this story at KTVB.com.